hello my loves welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is shahida and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back thanks for tuning in today as y'all can see i am working right now but i'm in um the training part of the class so we're just watching presentations and stuff can't really show y'all too much but that's what i'm doing right now I have a lot of stuff that I have that I want to do today actually written down right here in my planner I do have a doctor's appointment today I'm 33 weeks and three days pregnant today I do have I have an ultrasound today I have um I want to clean up my house or my room or per se and wash all these 50 million clothes that I have to wash before Mari comes back home so I want to do that I want to go to the store to get a few groceries it's a lot that I want to get done and it's raining y'all it's been raining for two days straight like literally it's been raining for two days straight I just seen this post on TikTok that I'm in mean, on Facebook that said we went from what it was <laughs> we went from something to needing a boat. We went from we went from needing snowboards to needing a boat or something like that. It was so funny. I'm gonna have to go back and find it and put it up in here so y'all can see what it has said but um yeah that's what i need to get done that's what i want to do but the way my energy has been lately i have not been wanting to do anything but i do have to go to my doctor's appointment so i think that i want to throw a load of clothes in a washing machine first before i leave out to my appointment which is gonna have to be in like the next 30 minutes is when i'm gonna have to leave but I'm still trying to debate if I want to go ahead and start the clothes before I leave. And that's just going to make me do, a, do, a, do the rest of when I come back. Or just start on everything when I come back. I don't know. Because I got a, a lot of clothes to wash. And then I have clothes to fold from the last load that I never folded up. From the last time that I washed clothes. Oh my god. I need to put those up. And then I have a lot of clothes that I want to go through and throw away. Like, I know I'll probably still be able to fit some of this stuff after I get, give birth. But I don't want half of it. This is a new year, new me, new clothes, okay? <laughs> I will stack up all over again if I have to. So, I'm going to go through some clothes and throw some clothes away. I don't know if I'm had energy to take them to Goodwill. So, either I'm going to throw them away or take them to Goodwill. And throwing away sounds much easier than taking it to Goodwill. But if I have the energy and if I'm going in the direction of Goodwill, then I'll take it to Goodwill. But if not, to the trash can right outside my door is going to go. <laughs> but I definitely need to clean up, get those clothes washed before my baby come back. Because when he come back, I don't be wanting to do nothing at all. So that's why the clothes be so piled up by the time like when he come home. And it be me and him and then clothes pile up and I just don't worry about it until after they leave. So that's probably what I'm gonna do. Wash some clothes, put some clothes in the washing machine. Probably before I leave to go to my doctor's appointment. I might take y'all with me. I might we doing ultrasound. Checking on the babies, making sure they're okay and all the good stress. And Come back home, figure out what I'm gonna eat because I'm pretty hungry. Oh my god. I forgot I put eggs on to boil earlier. Let me go check those. I'm pretty sure. Bro, that was like an hour. What the? It, it. My brother took it off the stove before it blew up, but what in the world is all in? Y'all, I done left my desk, came back, and they had done went to break. So I had to put myself on break. 
I'm about to eat these eggs. Just a little Tony's and some hot sauce. That's all I need. Um, I need to be thinking about when I need to get up from here and leave to go to my appointment. My appointment is like 30 minutes away. And um, my appointment is 30 minutes away and it's at 2.20. So that means that I need to be leaving my house at about... 1 45 so i don't have to be rushing like that because it's raining and it's wet yeah that's probably what i'm gonna do i hope the inside of this egg is good okay let's go mm -hmm. mm -mm. hope you guys are doing good today i'm doing fairly well other than um, my pelvis area like hurt real bad, it's aching like really bad. It hurts for me to switch sides in the bed. It hurt when I stand up, like get up to walk. It hurts when I walk. Y'all yeah, been going to the bathroom, waking up to go to the bathroom like every hour tonight. Like last night, I made it a point. I was like, every time I wake up, I'm gonna look at my clock and see what time it is. And every time it's like an hour later. I'm like, damn. And then it was like a push to go like, not just a regular get up, have to use the bathroom. It was like, get up, go straight to the bathroom like right now. And then, yeah, but it don't give you enough time. Like, nigga, I got to roll over to get out the bed. Like, I got to carry my stomach over to the other side and carry my legs off the edge of the bed to get out the bed, y'all. <laughs> it is not fun. And it's just, I guess the bigger they get and the worse it's going to hurt. But damn, Jesus. So I'm 33 weeks and my son's birthday is coming up. It's on the third. I'm really excited. He's super excited. He's going to check it to use for his birthday. And the twins probably going to be here like a few weeks after that. No lie. But I need to walk them down. I need to figure out how to get them down this position because I don't want to have a C-section. I do not, I do not, I do not, I do not. I want to push them out vaginally like I did with my son. I don't want to go through all that extra shit. I don't. So, and then I don't want to start walking or like trying to get them into position too early because it can make them come. So, I don't know what to do. I guess I'll figure it out as time progresses i want to get like a few more baby clothes if y'all want to give me some stuff i'm gonna link my baby registry that's what i'm gonna do for y'all link my baby registry so y'all can get them some things but um only most important thing that i really wanted to do and to get was a, a little dresser they're gonna be in my room so I want to get them a little dresser for their own clothes. But, um, yeah, other than that, I really just need more clothes, diapers, and wipes. I'm going to do a nest with me at some point in time. No way. Yeah, this egg is good. Mm -mm. So good. And then my class probably gonna come back like before me because I went after they went to, to break. So I'm gonna have to act like I'm here, but I'm really still clocked out. Crazy shit. It wasn't even going that long.
Well, you guys, I made it to the doctor. I'm like five minutes late, but I'm about to go walk inside and see what's happening at this doctor. I haven't been to this one since my son was born. I've not been here since then. So we shall see. Hopefully they ain't about to tell me, oh, you got to go in. I'm going to cry. <laughs> Big and then we have one for like a healthy cycle, mother's milk, pregnancy tea. Did you want to use the pregnancy tea or just some raspberry leaf? Well, what's the difference? I see that they're both. One, I think Rest this has a little bit more. Yeah, this one has the alfalfa in it. Okay, well, rose hip, that one. fennel, spearmint, the raspberry leaf, stinging nettle, and lemon. Nettle, because that was um, another tea. I, I was trying to think of what was that other one because it was two of them that I it was the nettle that I wanted to try. Mm -hmm. But since it's in here, it, it, yeah, I'll do this one. Yeah, and nettle's also good for swelling. <sighs> that's, that's awesome to know. <laughs> Hey guys, so I just made it not too long ago, made it back home. I had went and got some groceries. Went to take on the babies. They are doing good. One of them has moved down into position, like head down or whatever. And the other one is still sitting on his little booty. But we still got a lot of time left. I am not gonna lie, y'all. I do not feel like doing shit like it's probably like five hours later i had went bought some food from the deli part of the store so i'm about to sit here and eat this food drink my drink put on my show and chill for a little bit before i do anything because baby right now your girl is not feeling washing her clothes <laughs> i not gonna even lie and I don't have that much to clean it. So nine times out of 10, I'm about to eat this food. I'm about to watch my show. Doctor told me to take it easy. So taking it easy is what the fuck I'm about to do. Um, you go feel the, feel my water bottle. Up. I'm about to relax. I'm about to chill, watch TV, eat my food, drink my water drink my root beer and relax i'm not gonna lie to y'all probably read some of my book because i haven't read any of it in a long time so i might do that but as far as washing clothes hmm, i better get somebody else to do it <laughs> right now but i'm about to fill up my water hold on so y'all this is the food that i got some brisket some macaroni, chicken, and boudin, egg rolls. Oh my god, I'm about to bust down. Got my drink right here. Yes, I got my show. Oh my god. Hey, my love. So, this is definitely the next day after I ate that delicious food, girl. I went to the bath and went straight to sleep. So, I had to dump those clothes out this day so that i can get all of these clothes sort them out and put them in there and um throw them in a the washing machine so right here i'm just separating my clothes from my towels and then go and put them straight to the washing machine oh my god all that bending y'all terrible <laughs> so yeah put the clothes in the washing machine and put the detergent in there yeah I had 
had to come back with that same basket, put all of these towels in there and get them prepared to be washed after I took this load out of the washing machine and put them in a the dryer. I had about three loads of clothes to wash. It was a very tedious day, y'all. I'm not going to even lie. So y'all know I told y'all yesterday that I was going to try to clean up before my baby came. So this is the process of me cleaning up my bathroom. Um, When I tell y'all, I was tired as heck by the time I got done with this whole day cleaning out this sink. I need something. Let me know what I can use to get this dye up off my counter. I need to know because I'm tired of it looking like I got blood stains on my counter. <laughs> and this here is um, still, is that still the same day? I think this is still the same day. Bro, those were the clothes that I dumped out first. Yep, that's right because I'm getting ready to get the first load out the dryer. So this is still the same day I am folding up all those clothes that I dumped on the bed the first time lordy have mercy Jesus y'all oh my god I need to hire a maid at this point <laughs> Okay, so yes, here is the official next day. Y'all, it took me like, what, two, three days to get all of this done. My baby came back home from his dad's and he wanted to hide up under the clothes while I was um, pouring them all on the bed. So <laughs> this is me folding up the clothes and he's steadily trying to put other clothes on top of him to hide himself under them. He's just so silly. My baby is so full of life. I love his little life so much. This was the official last load, me taking out those towels. I think I did find some other clothes, so I threw them up in the washing machine. I don't think, I think I still, they're still probably sitting up in the dryer, to be honest. But that was just a little tiny load. Y'all, my baby is just growing up so fast on me. He is helping me with the towels, like folding them up perfectly. Like, I'm so proud of him. We went by fast on this one we we went real fast with this he he said at the end teamwork makes the dream work <laughs> 